Someone here to see you. Oh, who is it? It's a surprise visitor. You have to guess who it is. First, close your eyes. And now, have a feel. <laughs> <laughs> Little ears. <laughs> A woolly coat. <coughs> Big toes. Oh, hey, stop that. You're tickling me. I recognise that voice. It's Leopoldo the Llama. <laughs> <laughs> well guessed, Lucy. Have you come with a story, Leopoldo? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Can we hear it, then? This is a story... All about Tallulah the Toucan. Tallulah was always up early, and every morning she would do exactly the same things. First, she'd croak a cracking good croak. Crocky, crocky, croak! Then she'd preen her silky soft feathers. <laughs> and finally, she'd pick a pretty red flower. Now Tallulah was ready for a busy day. Hi, Tallulah! Oh, hello, Adam. Hello, Jazz. Hello, Leopoldo. What are you making today, Tallulah? It's a surprise. Why don't you come back tomorrow when the surprise is ready? Come on, let's play Jumping in the Jungle. Yeah! See you tomorrow, Tallulah. <laughs> Tallulah was busy all day long. And when night fell, she covered the surprise with a blanket of leaves. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. I hope my friends will like the surprise. <sighs> But the next morning, crooky crap. <laughs> Just as Tallulah was about to pick a pretty red flower, oh, my flower! Oh no! What am I going to do without my red flower? Today will be a disaster. Tallulah decided to hide in her nest. Croaky crow. Tallulah! Oh. Huh? I'm not coming out today. But what about the surprise? 
Croaky Crow. What's the matter, Tallulah? Are you not feeling well? Oh, I haven't got a red flower. Never mind. You look almost as nice without your red flower. Come on. Let's go and see this surprise. No, no, no. I can't possibly go without my red flower. I suppose we could go looking for a flower. Mm. Mm. So that's what we did. Croaky croak. Tallulah! Look what we found! Just pick the one you like best. Understand. Only a red flower will do. Oh. Okay. She's just being silly now. Uh, the seed of the red jingle jangle flower. We can grow a flower for Tallulah. Now we wait. But Jazz didn't feel like waiting. Maybe we should just shake Tallulah out of her tree. Uh, Jazz, why don't you and Leopoldo go for a dip in the river while I wait for the seed to grow? All right. Yes, a dip in the river. Why not? Come on, Leopoldo. Now only Adam was left with Tallulah. Don't you come out without your red flower? Toucans never go out without their flower. Oh. Armadillos never climb trees. Really? Never? If I climb your tree, will you come out without your red flower? Mm. Okay. Meanwhile... Jazz? I'm only having a teeny tiny little beak. You know that's not fair. Jazz! <laughs> Tallulah didn't think Adam would manage to climb her tree. But then, Adam had a clever idea. Surprise ever! Hey, Leopoldo, <laughs> what's happened to your hair? 
Well, Leopoldo, do you like your plaits? Maybe a change of hairdo isn't such a bad idea. We all need to get used to changes every now and then. Yes. <laughs> but one thing never changes. What's that? After story time comes bedtime. Oh. Good night, Lucy. Good night, Leopoldo. And thank you for the story. <sighs> Alfie and Charlie's canoe. Whee! Hi, everyone. Hello, Lucy. How are you? I'm fine. I've just been on an amazing school trip. Cool. Where did you go? I don't really know. The driver of the bus got lost. Oh, no. But it was great fun. It was? Yes. We got stuck in a traffic jam, so we had a competition counting red cars and blue cars. I counted 64 red ones. Well done. 64, 64, 64 red ones. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of that time when Alfie and Charlie went canoeing down the river. Oh, Boris, tell us the story. Well, it all started one morning in autumn when Alfie and Charlie were relaxing on a boulder overlooking the river. Smashing day, Charlie. Aye, Alfie. A great day to go exploring. <gasps> See that river bend? Never been round there before. No, me neither. So why don't we go there? Aye. Uh, but how? Ahem, ahem, ahem. Sorry, boys, but I couldn't help overhearing about your little problem. I could teach you how to canoe. That's the best way to see the river. <gasps> Magic, man. But first, we got to get ourselves a canoe. Luckily, Randolph knew just the person for the job. Sure, I can cut down a tree for you, Randolph. Now, which one would you like? This one? Uh-uh. How about that one? No, 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 no. That's the one. Just perfect. But why so small? Uh, it ain't for me. It's for the chipmunks here. Okay, then. Those boys have got a lot to learn. Stand back now, boys. In no time at all, the canoe was ready. Well, I need to go and check on a few of my dams, but have a good trip. We will. Hey, man, this is a smashing little canoe. <laughs> oh, I, it's champion. Keeping safe on the river is real important, boys. Put these pine cone vests on in case you fall in the water. Hey, Randolph, will we be able to go all the way to the sea? <laughs> I don't reckon so, boys. <laughs> Not unless you want to go over Big Drop Falls. <gasps> What's that? It's an enormous waterfall. We'll need to watch out for it. We? Oh, yeah. You boys are way too little to be out on that river alone. I'm a coming with you. Oh, that's great, Randolph. Ta! But we need some paddles first. Can't go canoeing without paddles. Oh. 
Here you go, boys. No! Come back! Come back! Come back! Ram doll? Oh, oh, uh, um. What happened? Where are the boys? They're out there, Beverly. There was some kind of accident, and they drifted away. We have to rescue them. They're way too little to be out on such a big river all alone and with no paddle. I'm gonna make us a rescue canoe. <laughs> no time for that. This log will do. Uh, uh, don't look so worried, Bev. What I don't know about rivers ain't worth no. You forgot your paddle. Poor Randall was now stuck on the river without a paddle. Beverly knew she had to act quickly. My, this river is flowing pretty quick today. Those poor chipmunks must be scared out of their wits. Isn't this just champion? I love the scenery along here. Hey, look there! It's Barbara! Hello, Barbara! It's amazing how fast you can travel without paddles. Aye? Hey, I wonder where that waterfall is that Randolph was talking about. Oh, still miles away, I reckon. Meanwhile... <laughs> Of that waterfall. Aye? But what if we get wet? Oh, great. Time to go back on dry land, Charlie. Ready? Ready! Ah! <laughs> hey, here comes Randolph! Hi ho! Uh, uh, no, boys! I ain't going here! You have to help me! But Alfie and Charlie couldn't hear Randolph. Ah, he must have fancied a swim. Boys, have you seen Randolph? Aye, he went that way. Do you think he's decided to visit the sea after all? Aye, he's managed to get past that big waterfall with no bother at all. But this isn't the big waterfall. This is Teeny Weeny Falls. Big Drop Falls is round that bend in the river. We need to rescue Randolph quickly. But how will we catch up with him in time? Then Alfie had an idea. Beverly and the chipmunks had built a hang glider. Randolph was getting closer and closer to Big Drop Falls. Randolph! Get ready to grab on! Guys, hey, look, see all that silver sparkling in the distance? I that's the sea. Whoa, fantastic! Hey, we have to do this again sometime. I a great story and a 
a great journey. You're welcome. There's a very short journey you need to make now, Lucy. <sighs> I think I know. Birds! Good night, everyone!